Good morning, guys. Merry Christmas. Happy Christmas Eve. So it doesn't feel like Christmas here at all up in Alabama. I don't know what the deal is, y'all. It is like spring, and I'm not even kidding you. It is like 68 degrees, 70 degrees. I actually don't know what the temperature is, to be honest. I'm just guessing. But uh, it is very spring-like. There is not even the slightest hint of chill in the air. It's actually a little annoying. Bye. Zoe's like in the backyard waving at me. We don't focus. <laughs> there, look, you can tell. Look at my daughter. She's in shorts and short sleeves playing outside on Christmas Eve. It ain't, it ain't right, y'all. It ain't right. Anyway, I'm trying to ignore the fact that it doesn't feel like Christmas Eve. Or like Christmas at all. Oh, I'm going all crooked. Alright, I'm going to let y'all go. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So, I got back from getting everybody a little bit of lunch. My kitchen's a little bit of a mess. We have Christmas morning here in the morning. So, my husband went to the store to get a few last minute things. So, I'm going to just straighten up a little bit, y'all. So, my father-in-law um, and my mother-in-law got me like a little like picture frame set hang on buddy i'll get you a drink in a minute okay and i just framed a few of our pictures y'all and i love it i think it looks really good so i'm gonna put this on our wall like right over there i have some more but i didn't have the right size prints or anything yet so this is just gonna have a temporary spot on the wall narkees needs a drink so i need to get him some water i feel like the kids have had way too much like soda and just kind of sweetie type of drinks the last couple of days just because of the holidays so we're trying to do a water flush today because tomorrow i know it will be much of the same also tonight i am going to do a um christmas eve here you go i'm gonna do a christmas eve uh like what did we get uh oh straw fell out there you go you gotta keep your head still. There you go. <laughs> oh, I'll start over. Okay, I'm going to do a Christmas haul and like show you guys what all the kids have gotten. So that will be at the end of this video. So stay tuned, it is coming. I promise I didn't forget about it. If I don't do it today, then I will probably never find the gifts again after the kids have torn into them in the morning. So. That is the plan. Also, the tree is getting moved back where it belongs. Just a busy day, you guys. And I hope you guys are all having a very Merry Christmas. Um, when you guys are watching this, it will be Christmas Day for y'all. And I'm always just, I always try to be super mindful of, you know, not everybody has family to spend Christmas with. And Mama. Christmas is not a happy, joyous time Mama. for everybody. You need more? Yeah. All right. Um, and I just want you guys to know that if that is you, if you do not have family to spend Christmas with, spend it with us and we will be your family. Um, and we will, we will celebrate the holiday together and have a good time. Um, it's always such a hard time of year. Um, I think, there you go, love. I think especially for me in a lot of ways, um, it's tough because I lost my daddy on oh, Christmas Day. Da, da. Huh? Oi. You do it. <laughs> he has the straw in his drink and he can't figure it out. Hang on, guys. Anyway, I had to change the lighting, y'all. It was just, it was too dark. And I hate, I hate this lighting because it makes me like orange and yellow, but it's either this or like I'm blacked out. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I lost my dad on Christmas Day um, when I was only two. So, you know, Christmas is a little bit, it's a little solemn for me sometimes, but having my own family, it definitely lifts my spirits quite a bit. And I have other more important things to focus my energy on. However, I always take this time of year to remember my daddy and I do miss him very, very much. Um, I'm not even talking about it too much because I will just start a crying. But Is it baby? Yeah, you can go play with sisters. Um huh? anyway, 
I just, I'm sorry. I keep trying to talk to you guys and have this like meaningful conversation and this little man is distracting me. Go play. Didn't I? Don't go play. No, go play with your blocks. I think Sissy's busy doing something else. Aww. He's so like, Norky's still, he, I think he understands Christmas, but not really. Like he's a little confused at all the festivity um, because in, in the orphanage, they had like one little Christmas performance every year and that was like it for him. So, to me. That just jumped onto me. Zoe was writing her letter to Santa and Aiden came up and started giving her loves. Aiden, are you loving on Sissy? Where's your face? There's your face. Oh, he's so tired, y'all. He's ready for bed. Are you ready for bed? Yeah. Are you see ready for Santa to come see you? Is Santa gonna leave you presents? Yeah? Sleep now. Oh, he wants to go to bed. <laughs> I gotta change your sheets, love. He's so tired. He got up early, early this morning. Y'all, I hate that this right here is gonna scar. I hate that. Mm. Ah! <laughs> he knocked me over. <laughs> you knocked me over. Uh oh. Uh oh. D-I-D-N-Apostrophe-D uh -oh. uh -oh. uh -oh. and then a T. An apostrophe, like the little, here, I'll show you. Aiden, let go of my hand, I got to stand up. It's <laughs> being so Hang on, I gotta stand up. I gotta stand up. He just wants to sit on me. Like right here. An apostrophe and then a T. Ah, my pants are broke. Yeah, we taped it back Damn. though. She's writing her <coughs> letter to Santa. What does it say so far? Dear Santa, I have been looking forward to seeing you, but I didn't get to. Get to. Oof. Well, you're not supposed to see Santa. No, I mean like him sitting in the huh? chair. Like, You're I mean, hot? Well, take your shirt off and I'll get you a new shirt. I mean, him not. I had not seen him sitting in the chair and me getting to tell Oh, uh, well, him. you got to see him at Bridge Street, remember? Yeah, but um, I didn't. I don't know if that was the real Santa because some people, like at my school, somebody dressed up as Santa and I saw yeah. that the line was there and then I was mm -hmm. like, You're not the real Santa. Well, you know what my mom always told me? She said that Santa is only one person. He's very, very busy, and he can't get to everywhere and hold every kid in their lap, but he has a lot of elves, a ton of elves. So what he does is he tells his elves close to Christmas to go out dressed as him and let all the kids tell him what he wants, and then they go back and report it to Santa. So if you think it's not the real Santa, it might not be the real Santa, but it might be one of Santa's elves. No, it's like, like your size. No, well, elves can be my size. Yeah, you've got to watch the Santa Claus. Y'all, you know, all of my like <clears throat> childhood beliefs in Santa Claus revolved around the movie, The Santa Claus. And so <laughs> when I'm like talking to Zoe about it, she's never seen that movie. So she's like, oh, I don't understand. I thought elves were like littler people. And I know as a kid, I never thought of them as littler people. So we need to watch that movie, don't we? What movie? The Santa Claus. What's the Santa Claus? It's got Tim Allen in it. It's a pretty awesome movie. The second and third are debatable, but the first one's really good. <laughs> All right, finish your letters. We gotta get to bed. Dear Santa, I have been looking forward to seeing you. Um, my daddy told me he did not want me to use chocolate milk. But, I did anyway. <laughs> well, it's a well-known fact that Santa likes chocolate milk better than plain milk, right? And I got my hair on the cake. Right yeah, there. well, don't, let's not do it again, okay? It is so Poor good. Aiden. All right, buddy, let's go to bed, honey. Pashli nosh nosh, He's so sleepy. Okay, guys, so...
I started like rapping before I remembered. Wow, I look horrendous. <laughs> Let's take the hair down. Um, so I started rapping before I uh, remembered that I'm supposed to film <laughs> film all of this. So I already have the stockings, like mostly stuff, so I'm so sorry. Anyway, this gift right here, this is Piper's, this is her Pikachu. This is the only thing that I have wrapped. All this other loveliness um, has yet to be wrapped. So. I have stocking stuffers. I'm not gonna go through all of them because the girls and keyses are basically just candy, guys. Like, it's basically candy. But Aiden's had to be a little bit different. So, Aiden has a little, it's a little braille, um, oop, I still have the price tag on it. Uh, what is it called? A braille puzzle, I guess. Um, and he's, he doesn't understand braille yet, but I thought it would be good um, practice for familiarizing himself with that. Um, do you hear something? Is that the cat or is that kids? I have no idea. I don't <laughs> hear anything. Recently. Okay. And I also got Aiden some little uh, fun little bath toys. I thought he would have some fun chewing on those. Um, and his little like talky things are in our room. So I will also put those in here. I'm tired y'all. I'm like, I'm kind of in like done mode and it's a little daunting to have all of this left to do, but it's okay. It's Christmas, right? It's Christmas. We gotta, we gotta get it done. Anyway, I'm just going to turn the camera on as I wrap whatever so that I can show you guys what they got. Again, they didn't get a ton this year, y'all. Like, it's, it's a pretty sparse Christmas, but I think they'll be happy, and they have gifts from their Nana that's coming and from the, my mom, and they will get plenty of stuff, so I'm not worried about them lacking in anything. But, yeah, so, let's see. Zoe and Piper. I'm sorry, this is super not organized, but... It is what it is. So this is Zoe's. This is Piper's. This is for Keys. Um, just because he loves to like build stuff and I thought this would be a lot more sturdy. This is for all of the kids. And yes, I'm going to wrap a thing of paper. It's fine. <laughs> so we have two packs of colored pencils, a big huge thing of awesome ultimate crayon collection. So that's for all of them. These are Keys's. He has pajamas. He has another pair of pajamas. This is Zoe's. I ordered her a fun sweater like I had, only hers is a panda and a kitty. <laughs> so I think that's cute. So she has that. And then, let's see. And then this bag is Narquise's gifts to his siblings. So he got this for Aiden, and then he got these for the girls. So. They have those, so that's fun. And let's see here, what else? This is Aiden's. Aiden has a little puppy that plays music, so that's gonna be fun for him. It's gonna start singing to me now, too. I thought that was cute. I know Zoe had the, uh, the Violet one when she was little and loved it, so I thought this would be great for Aiden. Um, and you can hook it up. There's like a thing to hook it up to your phone as well. So I'm like sitting here laughing at him. Usually when I wrap presents, I'll cut off the excess paper. Ace is just Hater. roll. He's just wrapping it all in there. He's getting it covered. <laughs> told me to cover. Yeah. Well, I did. I told him our only goal: cover it. It doesn't matter what it looks like. They don't care what it looks like. They rip into it before they even look at the paper. So it definitely does not need to look neat, pretty, and perfect. It just needs to be covered up. That see, that works. That is good. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> I think we've decided that cutting off the excess might be helpful. Yeah, these are definitely not very neatly wrapped. It looks a little rough, but it's alright. We've got all these done so far. And then this is another one of Zoe's gifts. It's just an art, like a cardboard art portfolio where she can put all of her picture and her paintings or whatever else that she does. And it's just a little, oh, you can't really tell, but it's a little folder. It's like an accordion folder. So it has a handle. She can carry it around. I think she'll like that. Lisa's still struggling to wrap. 
<laughs> okay, another box. We have Zoe's and Piper's since they're so into Minecraft. This is Aiden's and this is Keys's. And then this is the girl's big gift. This is Zoe's and then this is Piper's. So they each get a little Barbie. Y'all, this is like, quit making noise. <laughs> oh my goodness, such a mess, such a mess. Shh, shh, shh. There's reindeer stepping on the roof. <laughs> okay, so this is the Disney Animators Collection. This is for both girls to share. I think it's pretty amazing. I love how they have the original like artwork of all of the Disney characters. And it even has like the little paper. I'm gonna be careful with that. <laughs> it even has a little paper. It Disney does! Was Disney was kind enough to include paper. <laughs> well, it's neat because they can open it and they still have that quite, that like element of surprise before they fully see it. So it has Cinderella and Belle and Sleeping Beauty and Rapunzel. And they're just gonna share all of these. Wait, oh, that's Aurora, that's Rapunzel. Elsa, Anna, Little Mermaid. I mean, it's got them all. And they're all very nicely made, you guys. Like, the detail on them is very well done. So this is their, the girls's, uh, the girls's? The girls' larger gift. Hey, go find your phone. Check, see if they're on their way, because I'm hungry. Okay. I'll go look. So we have everything else wrapped and this is the last item and this is kind of like an item for all of them to share. We got two boxes of it though, one for Keys and Aiden and then one for Zoe and Piper. But it is a box of connects. Every kid's got to have connects. Whoa! I'm just going to like throw them. Um, we were talking, my husband and I were talking earlier and I grew up with Lincoln Logs. Like I never had connects as a child. It just wasn't something my mom ever bought me or I don't even think she knew what they were. Um, but I had Lincoln Logs. So we kind of had a little, a little debate on what we should get the kids. Should we get them Lincoln Logs or connects? But I think the connects one just... Because they didn't have any Lincoln Logs. Yeah, well, they didn't have any Lincoln Logs, and I don't know. I think the connects are actually a little bit cooler than Lincoln Logs. You can make more stuff with them rather than just a cabin. Um, I just thought the Lincoln Logs would be easier for an Arkees to maneuver, but we'll see. We'll see how it works out. Anyway, so we have to finish wrapping all of these, or these two, and then we've got to clean up all of the, the trash situation. We have to move the Christmas tree from the kitchen into the, this other room in here, and uh, then assemble the gifts around it. And then I think we're done. Like, family's going to be here at 8 in the morning. And yeah. we're just going to have a family day. Um, it's kind of a little bit untraditional, actually, though. Because, like, for lunch, we're going to go have uh, Chinese. Like, we're going out to lunch for Chinese. Because nobody wanted to cook. <laughs> so that was the easiest thing for us to do. Um, but we are going to have, like, a breakfast here. You got the piggy. Yep. Hey, piggy. <laughs> He's a Christmas piggy. I would show y'all, but he's way over there. <sighs> anyway. Yeah, I don't know. Should I close out today's vlog? I might as well. Like, this is kind of all we're doing. So... Anyway, I think I'm just going to make this a part of our Christmas special. I'm going to film all day tomorrow, and then tomorrow night I'm going to combine Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, and you guys are just going to have, like, a nice Christmas special of our Christmas. So I hope you guys are all doing awesome, and I will see you all tomorrow on Christmas. Bye, guys.
say Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas. <laughs> so we are just waiting on family to get here. I'm fixing the girl's hair. I need to go brush out my hair. Santa likes the boys chocolate up. and milk. None of us, yeah, he ate, drank all his chocolate milk, huh? We, none of us have eaten or anything yet, but that's okay. I think we're going to do presents first, and then we'll make some breakfast. Presents! We are getting dressed, huh? <laughs> here, you can hold it while I fix you here. Hello. Why don't you tell them about what you left Santa to eat? I left Santa some cake and a note, and he wrote back to me. What did he say? He said, um, well, let me go, I'm going to go downstairs. No, you don't need to get it. Just tell me what he said. Um, I don't remember, but I can, he left me a note. Okay. Well, we'll go get the note in a little bit, okay? Yeah. Let me finish your hair. Um, the note is downstairs. Yeah, here. Let mommy sign. This is a weird music sound, see? I don't like that noise. I <laughs> don't either. Not first thing in the morning, anyways. Yeah, first thing in the morning. Aiden, you loving on Sissy. Aiden was up all night long. He did not sleep. I guess he was too excited about Santa Claus. Yeah, maybe he was. Because he kept poor our keys up all night. I know it. I don't know why he doesn't sleep. We, whenever we came upstairs to get our things, we heard him like screaming as loud as he could. Make sure the camera and it sounded, on you, Zoe. <laughs> and it sounded joyful. It did. It sounded joyful. Yeah, joyful. Well, joyful or not, he was keeping everyone up. Yeah. La, 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 la. So Merry Christmas, guys. This is, this is what we've got. <laughs> Bunch no. of rain. Yeah. He's just being eco I'm taking friendly. pictures while you're taking pictures. Yeah, well, I'm vlogging, <laughs> so it's. Ada. Ada. Oh, up, up, up. <laughs> so my mom is on her way, but she, uh, she doesn't like to drive in the rain, so she was trying to wait for it to die down, but I don't think it's gonna. So she's just gonna risk it and get in the car and come on over. <clears throat> Daddy's in the kitchen making some breakfast. We've got fruit, we've got honey buns, we have some fresh honey buns in the oven, sausage. I don't know what that is. <laughs> what? That that thing? Uh, bacon. bacon. <sighs> then we have all of the gifts. Wow. Shoes. Mama, yeah. Those are nice shoes. Man, y'all made the gifts like go boom. Mama, <laughs> lots and lots of gifts now. Yeah, but I put them under the tree. That way nobody would trip on them. Yes, love. You have on a Santa hat. I love your Santa hat. Yeah, I know. He was naughty all night, huh? Huh? He kept you up. I'm sorry. Nice. <laughs> you got Christmas up, son. Remember, there's four of you. Yeah, yes. Yes. I think it's too many presents. Oh, we're going to have to take some of them back. I think we need, I think we need to go drop some off to somewhere else, don't we? Yes. <laughs> it's just too many presents. I know. No. Daddy to finish breakfast. Is Daddy in the kitchen cooking? Very. Yeah. What's he cooking? Um, bacon. Say hi, kids. Say Merry Christmas. Hi, hi, da, da, da. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Hi, hi. You forgot to go get your feet. <laughs> hey, Mom, say hi. No, they're not for my plug. You didn't got my feeties yet. I did get your feeties and I'll give them in. What love? It's itchy. You don't want to wear it. Okay. You don't have to. You look pretty handsome without it. You're gonna help us open the gifts. Yeah. Narkees is ready. Oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. So. 
<laughs> Zoe, what's that? What is that? It's a lightsaber. Whose is it? It's like Kylo Ren. anything right now buddy okay we'll have playtime later after we get all the That's paper really cleaned up hey can you set this on the floor over there out of the way i don't want i i it's a mess around here
So we are just being lazy, you guys. After three days of kind of cleaning and sprucing and wrapping and sorting and just all of that kind of stuff, we are just doing a whole lot of nothing right now. The girls are playing with their toys. Narquise is playing with his toys. Aiden is playing with his. Um, and we're just having some downtime. And it's been nice. This morning was so much fun. Um, my mom got to come over and then Nana and Nathan got to come over. Um, it was just a fun morning. And Aiden is out here. He came out of this other room. He was playing with some of his toys. And he came out and I noticed him at the top of the stairs and he was jumping. <laughs> and I was like, and usually that's what he will do when he wants his trampoline. He'll, he'll kind of find me or he'll find a spot and he'll just start jumping. So I went and got his trampoline out of the back room. And I'm going to put it right here and he can jump. What are you doing, love? You got your little elf. Show the camera, show him. He's so cute. This is my first elf. Yeah, it does. All right, Aiden. And I named her Freya. Like, like our elf? Uh, Neat. Like our elf. Aiden. Come on, he's got his wrapping paper. Here's your trampoline. You're gonna jump, jump, jump. There you go. There you go. Jump, jump, jump. Y'all, he gets so high on that thing. Good job, Aiden. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. Asa, look how high he goes on this thing. He can really get going. Yeah. Good job, buddy! <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Great job! I am amazed, y'all, at his balance. It just amazes me. If I were to get on that trampoline and close my eyes like I was, like I couldn't see, like he can, I would fall off. <laughs> I know I would. I, I would just fall over, or I would miss it. Um, yeah, he's just so like aware of, you know, where the trampoline ends and how high he's he can jump safely, and it's just really neat to kind of watch him do stuff like that. But we have all of these garbage bags full of wrapping paper. Little man is jumping. Keys isn't feeling too good today, y'all. I noticed this morning when he got up that he was super grumpy and just wasn't feeling too terribly awesome. And he's had, he has a low grade fever. Hey, go get the thermometer. Can you reach it? Go get the thermometer. I'm going to take his temperature. Um, he's just, he has a runny nose and he just doesn't seem to be feeling too terribly great. So he's been sitting here. He got a nice purple blanket with a fleece lining. Yeah. You do feel hot, love. And he's been sitting here with his little puppy. You can't. I'll get it. He is, I have his little thermometer. Open your mouth. Under tongue. Up, oh, lift up your tongue. All right, close your mouth. Nope, close it. Close it. Close your lips. Close your lips. This never works on him, y'all. He doesn't know how to do it. Here, hold the camera for me. All right, hang on. Hold it on him. All right, let's do it under your arm, okay? Because I don't think, yeah, it says your temperature is 92. That is not right. All right, let's put it right there. Close your arm. Huh? I might have accidentally pushed a button. I don't think this is going to work either, y'all. This is an oral thermometer, and it doesn't work. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work. It doesn't work super great under the arm. Yeah, it says it's 97.7. I don't think that's right. Because his, normally his temperature is 98.9. No, you're not hot. You do feel hot. If I could do it in your mouth, it would work better. Mommy? But it's okay. This is a hot. weird egg. Plum, hot. Yeah, it's a little, uh, you like balance it Plum, on the hot. thing. Plum, hop. Y'all, we have so much toys and stuff. We're going to have to sort it through. Look at Aiden. He's so silly. Aiden, I think you're having more fun than any of us. You're having the most fun. I 
think he has the most energy in this house. <laughs> he does. Mama, so silly. And I know you. Papa. You want to help Pop Pop at the farm? Yeah. Yeah. Mama. Well, you got some good tools Mama. for it, huh, love? Whoa, and they got lightsabers? Hmm. Huh? That's pretty so cool. This is Piper's. Mama. Huh? Oh. Boy. And we each got. Yep, that's pretty I awesome. Hope. Yeah, buddy. You don't Hope. need to keep saying it over and over. I know. This. I know, love. Hope. Yeah, that's going to be pretty cool to put together. Whew. Me Here, buddy. Nana, me and Nana actually already put Do you want to eat some of these? Yeah. So we got, Narkies loves these little crunchy, these little Gerber graduate things. They're just real soft and easy for him to eat, and he loves them. So I got these, well... I think Santa left these for you, actually, didn't he? You gonna eat some of those? All right, you eat some of those, okay? Don't spill it. <laughs> and this is what this All right, is. so y'all, so Narkees finally felt well enough to actually get down. Here, let's open it. Here, come over here. Y'all, he ate that whole entire can. I didn't. No, wait, that's not yours. Nope, that's not yours. That's Sissy's. Here, take my hand. Come over here. Oh. Oh, There's hummel. so much stuff, buddy. Oi, oi. Oh, the hammer. Your hammer is downstairs, love. We're not gonna play with the hammer right now, okay? Oh. We got these out for you. Here, let Mama show you. All right, you want me to show you how you to do it? Yeah. So I think with these, you just press them together. See, like right here? So stick it on. Not that, Lev. That's a ball. Here, let me see. Let me see. Here. Um, try this. Stick that on there. You stick that on. Flat. There you go. Good job. Well, kind of. Do y'all Did y'all have these when you were little? They're just the little bristle blocks, I think is what they're called. You can build stuff with them. Is that fun, Narkees? Uh -huh. Your hammer is downstairs. You don't need your hammer. We don't this have this? anything to hammer right now. This is... This is... This is... He wants to know if you'll go grab his hammer for him. Okay. It's in his room, I think, in his toolbox. Ooh. Yes. You gonna hammer some of these? Let's yeah. see. You can make like a little like train thing with them. Just hum. So you basically just stick them together, keys. Oh. Yo, I think his favorite gift this year was hum. the hammer that Pop Pop gave him. Hum. He keeps asking for that hammer. <laughs> you gonna hit it? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Oh, Good deal. Alright. Do you want me to put this up or do you want this out? This you working hard, love? Yeah. Fum hammer. Hum. Can I hammer that? Yeah. Alright, got that. Can you do it? Yeah. Okay, you work hard. This good kiss. Yeah, you've got some ickies. It's okay. We'll get cleaned up in a little bit and put jammies on. You want to put on some of your new jammies? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bis. Nope, not right now. We'll do it in a little bit, okay? We'll do it in a little bit. Mommy wants to get some of this stuff cleaned up. Does that sound good? Yeah. Yeah. This. That. You got it. Did you have a good Christmas, Narkees? Yeah. Did you get lots of fun stuff? Yeah. Here. There. There's another one. There's another one. One thing is for certain, we are going to have to have, like, bins or something for all of the stuff. Because they got connects, they got Legos, they have many different assortments of blocks. And we don't really have any bins to put them in. And this is just a flimsy, like, cardboard box, so this isn't good for long term. This, uh, is that a hammer? 
Your hammer is right here, love. There's your hammer. Don't hit brother with it, okay? There you go. Hammer that. Good. I'm gonna move my toes. <laughs> Good job, dude. Get it. Good. Good job, Narkees. You got work to do, huh, dude? Yeah. Yeah. I'll put those a piece. A little bit. Aiden loves his glow worm. Wow. Y'all, Narkees picked this out for Aiden for Christmas. Like, this is from Narkees. And I think it's probably Aiden's favorite. Favorite gift. It's probably his favorite. Mwah. Kiss that sweet Bowie. <laughs> Bowies. <sighs> so, family has left, and we are just hanging out. You can see all of the the festivities still on the floor. I don't know. We probably won't pick them up today, but at any rate, it was fun. And Aiden loves his little glow worm. He loves his little glow worm. <laughs> um, <laughs> hang on guys I turned the camera on prematurely before I was I was all set up <laughs> I have my dinner right here I'm having cantaloupe and a deviled egg because it's all we have left Ugh, from breakfast this morning anyway I just wanted to come in and close out this very Merry Christmas I hope you guys are all doing amazing I'm going to go ahead and edit the Killin' Christmas special. I'm not sure what I'm going to title it yet. Just a real low-key Christmas at home, hanging out with family. Um, nothing too major, but I hope you all had an amazing Christmas. I hope that it was spent in love, and if it was not spent with your family, um, I hope that you were able to reflect on some other things that are important to you, and I hope you found some kind of joy today. Um, I know that this time of year can can be a little rough on a lot of people and I know for me um especially it, and I, I talked a little bit about this or I tried to talk about this yesterday but the kids just would not let me talk about it but um I know for me I always end up thinking of my daddy on Christmas and uh, it was on this day 27 years ago that my dad passed away excuse me um and that was a very sad and horrible <laughs> Christmas for us um but as much as as painful as it is to remember this day and associate this day with my dad's death I also associate it with a lot of joy because I have so many amazing memories of my dad and he was such an awesome person and I contribute a lot of my life to him you know I I was a most of you know that I was adopted and my dad walked into an abortion clinic in 1985 and he saw a woman crying in the corner and he sat down beside her and convinced her um, not to abort her baby and and she somehow by the grace of God agreed her appointment that day at the abortion clinic was running an hour behind schedule and um, you know it, it wasn't happening and she was getting frustrated and my dad came in and said that they wanted to adopt her baby and you know she agreed and you know six months later I was born and um, it wasn't without complications you know I was I was born um, addicted to whatever drugs was in my mother's system and um, it was a little bit difficult on my my mom my mom and dad and my the mom and dad that adopted me and um, he just he saved my life in so many ways and I just contribute the way that I am now um, to him you know he he instilled adoption in my heart because adoption literally saved my life and oh it's so stormy outside guys y'all hear it thundering um, but adoption literally saved my life and I think that's why I have such a heart for the fatherless um, because I know where I would have been you know I literally would not be here if it were not for adoption um, so I can go more into that story another time but I know it's not super Christmassy but that is always every year around Christmas that's what I reflect on because of my daddy's death I just my mind just goes back to that and I'm just like wow you know like God has a plan God has a purpose and everything and 
I, I don't know. It's just, it's amazing to me to just think about how all of that played out. But anyway, I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. And yeah, Merry Christmas, guys. Bye.